In the past 150 years, many animal species have disappeared forever, leaving only photographs as evidence of their existence. Have you ever wondered what these vanished animals looked like and how incredible they might have been? Join us as we unveil 20 last known photos of animals that went extinct. Number 20. The Golden Toad. The Golden Toad was a small frog that lived in the high-altitude forests of Costa Rica's Monte Verde region. It became famous for its bright orange color and was seen as a symbol of the area's rich variety of plants and animals. Scientists first found it in 1966. Adult Golden Toads were only about two inches long, and researchers were interested in them because of their color and how they bred. Their breeding season was short, only during the rainy months from April to June. During this time, the males, which were brighter than the females, gathered in small pools to attract mates. This led to a site where hundreds competed for the best spot. Sadly, the last time anyone saw a golden toad was in 1989. Their numbers dropped quickly and they disappeared completely. Many reasons contributed to their extinction, but the biggest was climate change. Changes in weather patterns and less frequent mist in their forest home made it hard for them to find suitable breeding spots. Some other reasons included losing their homes to deforestation and fragmentation caused by human activities. Also, a deadly fungus that affects frogs worldwide wiped out many golden toads. Since they only lived in one place, they had no chance once the disease spread. Number 19. Yangtze River Dolphin The Yangtze River Dolphin, the Baiji, used to live in large numbers in the Yangtze River in China. It was highly respected in Chinese culture and was often called the Goddess of the Yangtze. At one point, you could see many of them swimming together in the river. The Baiji was a medium-sized dolphin, growing up to eight feet long. It had a slim body, a long snout, and small eyes adapted to the murky river waters. These dolphins relied mainly on their excellent echolocation skills to move around and hunt in the river. Historically, they played a crucial role in the river's ecosystem as top predators, helping to manage the populations of many other species. However, their problems began in the late 20th century due to China's rapid industrialization and economic growth. The Yangtze River, one of the busiest waterways globally, became heavily polluted because of industrial and residential waste. This pollution, combined with increased river traffic, overfishing, and the construction of dams and other structures disrupting their habitat, caused their numbers to plummet. Despite efforts to save them through reserves and breeding programs in the late 20th and early 21st centuries, it was too little. A comprehensive survey in 2006 failed to find any surviving Baiji dolphins in the river, leading scientists to declare the species functionally extinct. This marked the first documented case of a large mammal species going extinct, primarily due to human activity. Number 18. The Tasmanian Tiger the Tasmanian tiger was the biggest meat-eating marsupial around in recent times. Its size is standing at about two feet tall and stretches out to six feet long. Experts say it used to live in New Guinea and Australia. Back then, before Europeans arrived, it was thriving. But once Europeans came, things started going downhill for them. Human activity led to their extinction. However, they managed to hang on a bit longer in Tasmania. The last one seen in the wild was in 1930, and the last one in captivity died in 1936. Even though there is an official statement saying these tigers are extinct, there have been claims of people spotting them in small areas in the 1980s. Now and then, there are reports of sightings across Australia, but none of them have been proven true. When you think of a Tasmanian tiger, you imagine its 15 to 20 dark stripes running from its shoulders to its tail. It's got this fierce look with black eyes and two small brown triangles with orange fur on the outside. Its jaw is strong, packed with 46 teeth. This creature liked to hunt at night or early in the morning, either alone or in small packs. Its go-to meals were birds, kangaroos, and other small critters. Number 17. The Wild Quagga The wild quagga during its prime gained fame, but only one was ever caught on camera. The lone female resided in a London zoo in 1870, where she was photographed. 
Sadly, no images exist of this animal in its natural habitat. Scientists recount that Quaggus once roamed abundantly in South Africa, their native land. However, they met their demise due to excessive hunting for their hides and meat, as well as to preserve grazing land for domestic animals. The last wild quagga was slain in the 1870s, and the final captive one perished in August 1883. In 1987, an organization called the Quagga Project launched an ambitious endeavor to bring back this lost species. This pioneering initiative marked the beginning of de-extinction efforts. Scientists carefully examined the quagga's deoxyribonucleic acid making it the first extinct animal to undergo such examination. The findings revealed that the quagga was not an entirely different species, but rather a subspecies of zebra, overturning previous assumptions. The inaugural success of the quagga project materialized in 1988 with the birth of the first foal from the breeding program. Number 16. Formosan Clouded Leopard the Formosan clouded leopard, a stunning creature once found in the forests of Taiwan, was a type of clouded leopard specific to this region, which includes Southeast Asia and Southern China. Sadly, it was officially declared extinct in 2013, with the last confirmed sighting dating back to 1983. Named after its former home, Formosa, an old name for Taiwan, this leopard was the island's second largest carnivore, next to the Formosan black bear. Its distinguishing feature was its captivating pale brown fur adorned with dark cloud-like patterns. Despite being smaller than other clouded leopards and having a shorter tail, it excelled at climbing due to its long claws and tail, even possessing the rare ability to descend trees head first, a skill uncommon among felines. Being solitary by nature, the Formosan clouded leopard faced numerous challenges leading to its extinction, including habitat loss, deforestation, and hunting. Its Appealing fur and desirable meat made it a target for hunters, further accelerating its decline. Despite its disappearance, rumors periodically surface claiming sightings of this elusive creature, igniting hope for its rediscovery. Efforts to confirm these alleged sightings continue, fueled by the desire to uncover any remaining populations of this majestic animal. Number 15. The Sicilian Wolf the Sicilian wolves once roamed the largest island in the Mediterranean Sea, Sicily. These wolves were a unique subspecies of the gray wolf found exclusively on the island. While resembling their mainland counterparts, Sicilian wolves had lighter, tawny fur with dark bands on their forelimbs, adding to their striking appearance. Despite their beauty, these wolves faced challenges in finding food. They often targeted farm livestock, which caused conflicts with local farmers. In response, farmers began hunting the wolves to protect their animals. However, hunting wasn't the only threat to the Sicilian wolves. Human activities, such as habitat degradation and loss, posed additional challenges to their survival. These wolves were skilled predators, adept at hunting a variety of prey. However, as human settlements expanded and agriculture developed, conflicts between wolves and farmers arose. Farmers, whose livelihoods depended on their livestock, viewed the wolves as threats. To protect their animals, they began actively hunting the wolves, leading to a decline in the wolf population. Additionally, deforestation and land conversion for agriculture further reduced the wolves' habitat, pushing them toward extinction. By the early 20th century, the Sicilian wolf population had dwindled to the point of no return. Historical records indicate that the last Sicilian wolf was killed in the 1920s, marking the extinction of this unique subspecies. Number 14. The Saber-Toothed Tiger Saber-toothed tigers, also called saber-toothed cats or lions, were huge cats that lived on Earth for many years. They got their name from their long, knife-like teeth, which could grow up to 50 centimeters long. Despite their name, they were more like bears in their appearance. These creatures were excellent hunters, known for hunting animals like mammoths and sloths. They were also famous for being able to open their jaws at a wide angle of 120 degrees, twice as wide as today's lions. The decline of saber-toothed tigers is believed to be connected to the extinction of the large plant-eating animals they hunted. Other reasons might include competition with early humans, the absence of large animals, and changes in the climate. Saber-toothed tigers were skilled at hunting big prey like mastodons, giant sloths, camels, oxen, caribou, bison, and other large animals. Because of their large size, they needed a lot of food to survive. 
On average, these cats weighed around 750 pounds, stood 3 feet tall, and were 5.5 feet long. Surprisingly, they were more closely related to clouded leopards than to today's domestic cats. Fossil evidence suggests that saber-toothed tigers may have hunted in packs and had a unique behavior of allowing injured members to eat first before healthy ones. Number 13. Western Black Rhino this majestic creature with its valuable horns became a target for poachers, leading to some awful stories of poaching madness. The western black rhinos, along with their relatives, paid a heavy price for it. In the old days, these rhinos were the kings of West Africa, strutting around like they owned the place. But times changed, and they went from rulers to relics in no time. Their numbers dropped faster than ice melting in the desert. In 2011, the International Union for Conservation of Nature sadly declared them extinct, and no one dared to argue otherwise. Back in the 1930s, conservationists got busy trying to save these rhinos. It was like a rebirth for them, and their numbers started to climb. Things were looking up, but then the 1980s came crashing in like an unwelcome guest, bringing a wave of poaching madness. Suddenly, everyone wanted a piece of rhino, their horns, their body parts, you name it. It was like a crazy market, with buyers from all over the world flashing their cash. Naturally, some people saw an opportunity to make a quick buck and traded their office jobs for hunting expeditions in the forest, chasing down rhinos faster than you could say, endangered species. As the 21st century began, only a handful of these magnificent magnificent creatures were left, just 10. But even that was too much for the dark forces at work, and by 2006 they vanished, disappearing like magic tricks. Number 12. Pinta Island Tortoise In the Galapagos Islands, there once wandered a creature, the Pinta Island Tortoise, often called the Pinta Giant Tortoise. This special kind, native to Ecuador's Pinta Island, had a fascinating past as interesting as the islands themselves. However, in the late 19th century, these magnificent tortoises faced danger due to constant hunting, which quieted the once calm landscapes that echoed with their graceful steps. By the middle of the 20th century, hope for the survival of the Pinta Island tortoises faded as they were declared extinct, with only a single male named Lonesome George as the last living proof of their existence. Yet against all odds, a single male tortoise, Lonesome George, was found in 1971, offering hope for his kind. Despite desperate efforts to find a suitable mate, his death in 2012 seemed to signal the end of the Pinta Island tortoise. These big creatures once played an important role in shaping their island's fate by spreading seeds and influencing the environment. Their absence left a gap, showing the delicate balance that nature keeps. Efforts to restore this balance have been endless, including removing invasive goats and helping the land recover. Conservationists dream of bringing back the spirit of the Pinta Island tortoise through careful breeding, imagining a future where they once again wander their native land. Number 11. The Schomburg's Deer Imagine a deer so graceful it could outshine even the most majestic creatures in the wild. The Schomburg's deer, a captivating species once found in central Thailand. Named after Sir Robert Herman, a distinguished British consul, this deer once roamed through history's pages until it mysteriously vanished, leaving behind a void in the lush landscapes it once adorned. With its rich dark brown coat and a hint of light beneath, this deer's elegance knew no bounds. The males boasted antlers resembling baskets, adorned with up to 33 points and stretching up to 35 inches long. Females, on the other hand, roamed the swampy plains, preferring areas with tall grasses, canes, and shrubs, forming small herds with a male, a few females, and their young. But even this paradise couldn't protect them from the changing world. In the late 19th century, rice cultivation for trade swallowed their grasslands and swamps, pushing them to the brink as hunters intensified pressure on their shrinking territory. Despite their disappearance, nature held a glimmer of hope. In 1991, a photograph captured a set of unique antlers in a distant land. Laurent Chassot, a United Nations agronomist, recognized these antlers from a Chinese medicine shop, remembering the long-lost Schomburg's deer. The image hinted at the survival of a species refusing to vanish into obscurity. Number 10. Madeiran Large White Butterfly the Madeiran large white butterfly was a special type of butterfly found only in the Madeira archipelago, especially on Madeira Island off the coast of Africa in the Atlantic Ocean. It looked similar to other large white butterflies found in Europe and North Africa. However, it stood out with its bigger size, reaching up to three inches in wingspan. 
Unlike its cousins, it had creamy white wings with distinct black tips on all four wings. What made it even more unique was its prominent black pattern on the wings, setting it apart from other large white butterflies. This butterfly was crucial for pollinating various native plants on Madeira Island. Its caterpillars mainly ate plants from the broccoli family, such as cabbages and mustards. Unfortunately, this specific diet made the Madeiran large white vulnerable to changes in farming practices and plant availability. The use of agricultural pesticides in the 20th century unintentionally harmed the caterpillars while aiming to protect crops. Additionally, urbanization and expanding agriculture altered the island's natural habitat, causing a decline in the native plant life essential for these butterflies. By the mid-20th century, sightings of the Madeiran large white became rare, and by the 1970s it was last seen. Despite efforts to find it afterward, experts declared it extinct. Number 9. The Carolina Parakeet the Carolina parakeet was the only parrot species native to the eastern United States. Sadly, it's one of the few birds in North America to have become extinct recently. They used to be abundant, with large flocks stretching from the Ohio Valley to the Gulf of Mexico and along the East Coast up to New York. Their vibrant colors once lit up the sky, but unfortunately that's no longer the case. Known for their bright green feathers, yellow head, and red around the eyes and beak, Carolina parakeets were striking birds. They lived in various habitats, from dense forests to swamps and river valleys, and were about 14 inches long. They were social and noisy birds, often calling out loudly. Their diet mainly consisted of seeds, fruits, and sometimes insects. Because they existed in large numbers with few natural predators, they had some unique traits. However, these traits contributed to their downfall when human civilization expanded. They were loyal to their flock, even to wounded companions, often flying back to help them. Unfortunately, hunters exploited this behavior. By the late 19th century, their population had dramatically declined. The last wild Carolina parakeet was killed in Okeechobee County, Florida in 1904, and the last captive bird died in the Cincinnati Zoo in 1918, marking the species' extinction. Number 8. The Ivory-Billed Woodpecker The Ivory-Billed Woodpecker, a globally renowned species, has sparked debate over its possible extinction. Despite being classified as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, conflicting reports argue its extinction. This distinctive bird, resembling other extinct woodpeckers, was once considered one of the largest worldwide. However, recent discoveries challenge this claim, suggesting that the species presumed to be the largest woodpecker is also likely extinct. Feeding primarily on beetles, nuts, and fruits, the ivory-billed woodpecker maintained a delicate relationship with humans. It faced threats from hunting for its body parts and meat, as well as from logging activities that targeted its habitat and nesting sites. Logging led to a decline in its population, and the last confirmed sighting dates back to 1987. Subsequent reported sightings were deemed inaccurate due to the species' resemblance to others. While there is speculation about a small population possibly surviving in remote areas of Cuba, this theory requires verification. Despite its endangered status, the ivory-billed woodpecker remains an iconic symbol of conservation efforts and the importance of preserving biodiversity. Number 7. The Great Auk Another flightless bird from the North Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic has disappeared. These birds were the only species in their group, not closely related to the penguins found in the Southern Hemisphere. They were sizable, about the height of a large turkey, standing around 75 to 85 centimeters tall and weighing over 4 to 6 kilograms. Their bodies were covered in thick black feathers, except for a small white patch on their heads and bellies. They had stout beaks and short wings that couldn't support their weight. Great auks were skilled swimmers and divers, spending most of their lives in the sea, feeding on small marine creatures. They nested on rocky islands, laying a single large egg. Once abundant, their numbers dwindled in the 15th century due to overhunting for their meat, eggs, and feathers. They settled in large colonies, and their feathers were commonly used for pillows. Their eggs were considered a delicacy. The last great auk was killed by three fishermen in 1844. By the 18th century, they had become very rare, and their extinction was sealed when the last one was sold to a museum. Number 6. The Tacopa Pupfish the fish is a tiny type, perfect for living in the hot spring pools of the Mojave Desert in Eno County, California. They're not big at all, 
only about two inches long. These fishes love the warm, alkaline waters of the springs, where the temperature can get super high up to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It's pretty because most fish can't handle such heat. To survive, they've adapted to eat algae and small critters. But these fishes are selective about where they live. They are only found in two places, the Tacopa Hot Springs and nearby Fish Lake Valley Hot Springs. This limited range makes them vulnerable to any changes in their environment. In the 1960s, humans started messing with the Tacopa Hot Springs. They turned it into a tourist spot, building bathhouses and changing how water flows for activities. But all this construction messed up the fish's home. The springs got smaller and the water changed, which the fish couldn't handle. Efforts were made to save them, like trying to move them to other similar places or keeping them in captivity, but it didn't work out. In 1970, the Tacopa pupfish was declared extinct. It was one of the first species to vanish under the Endangered Species Act of 1973. Today's subscriber pick. The last known photos of animals that went extinct have become a point of interest for many people globally, but that of one very unique creature stands out. This beautiful creature is named the rainbow-winged bird, and it once lived in the middle of the dense forest in a sub-Saharan settlement. Its feathers sparkled with every color, impressing anyone lucky enough to see it. People traveled from far away just to see its beauty. As time went on, the forest started to get smaller because of humans moving in. The colorful bird lost its home and had trouble finding enough food to survive. Each year, there were fewer of them until they disappeared from the world forever, and everyone who had seen its beauty missed it deeply. People were sad that such a wonderful creature was gone and understood how important it is to protect nature for the future. Even though the bird was gone, people remembered it fondly. As the forest slowly recovered, there was hope that another magical creature like the rainbow-winged bird might appear again someday. What are your thoughts on this animal that went extinct? Let us know your opinion in the comments below. Number 5. Caribbean Monk Seal The West Indian seal, also widely known as the sea wolf, was a magnificent creature, large yet gentle, but sadly it met a tragic fate being one of the earliest marine mammals to vanish from existence. These seals thrived in warm waters, particularly in the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico. Unlike their relatives in the icy Arctic and Antarctic regions, they boasted a sleek and streamlined body, perfectly suited for diving and swimming, essential for catching their prey. Highly social animals, they formed large colonies, fostering a sense of community among themselves. However, their peaceful existence was disrupted when humans, the ultimate agents of extinction, entered the scene. European explorers and settlers quickly recognized the value of these seals as a source of meat, fur, and oil, leading to their relentless hunting. The West Indian seals, being slow-moving and preferring shallow waters, were easy targets for hunters. Coupled with habitat loss, their population dwindled rapidly, ultimately leading to their extinction. The last confirmed sighting of this majestic species occurred in 1952 at Sanilla Bank, a remote atoll situated between Jamaica and Nicaragua. The last surviving male seal was declared officially extinct in 2008. Number 4. The Barbary Lion Lions, which we typically associate with Africa, used to inhabit various parts of the continent, including beyond just a few regions. One of these lion types, the Barbary lion, sometimes called the Atlas lion, was quite remarkable. It was one of the largest lion subspecies, with males reaching lengths of up to 10 feet and weighing around 550 pounds. The Barbary lion stood out for its dark, extensive mane, which draped over its shoulder and under its belly. These lions played a crucial role as top predators in North Africa's ecosystems, ranging from the Atlas Mountains to the Mediterranean coast, where they hunted deer, wild boar, and other small mammals. Historically, they symbolized royalty and strength, and were even featured in the royal coat of arms of Morocco. However, due to hunting and habitat destruction, their population drastically declined by the early 20th century, and the last wild sighting was in the 1950s. Efforts to locate wild Barbary lions failed, leading to their presumed extinction in the wild. Yet, some lions in captivity, particularly at Rabat Zoo in Morocco, are believed to be descendants of Barbary lions. Number 3. The Passenger Pigeon The passenger pigeon used to be the most common bird in North America and maybe even the world. They lived in large groups and flew fast. They were about 16 inches long and had different colors, with males having blue-gray heads and coppery breasts, while females were more muted in color. 
They were very social birds, forming huge flocks that could darken the sky for hours. They mainly ate nuts, seeds, and fruits. These flocks were so big that they affected the forests of North America, spreading seeds and changing the structure of the forest through nesting and roosting habits. But things changed in the 19th century when large-scale hunting began. People hunted them for food, which was cheap and important for many. The rise of telegraphs and railroads made it easy to track and transport pigeons in large numbers. Their nesting habits made them vulnerable, especially when forests were cut down. Millions of birds could be killed in just one nesting season. There were hardly any efforts to conserve them during this time. By the time people realized how serious the problem was, it was too late. The last known passenger pigeon, a female named Martha, died in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo in 1914, marking the end of the species. Number 2. The Tarpon Horse The Tarpon Horse once roamed freely in the wild from 1875 to 1890. Due to widespread hunting without discrimination, their population declined, leading to their eventual extinction, like many other animals during that time. The last tarpon was killed by a hunter attempting to capture it, while the final one in captivity passed away in 1918. Tarpon horses stood about five feet tall at the shoulder, boasting a grayish-brown body with dark legs, thick manes, and distinctive shoulder stripes. Although there is some debate regarding the authenticity of the photo, an image believed to have been taken in 1884 remains the only known photograph of a live tarpon. Despite efforts by scientists to revive the species from extinction, their attempts proved unsuccessful. While many argue that tarpon horses are not vastly different from the domestic horses we see today, there are notable distinctions in their physical characteristics. The closest domestic breed to the tarpon is the heck horse, which was bred by German scientist Lutz Heck in the 1930s. He aimed to recreate horses similar to tarpons and konigs, both of which are considered untamed descendants of domestic horses. Number 1. The Paradise Parrot The Paradise Parrot was once a beloved creature. Celebrated for its elegance and charm in the wild, it no longer roams the earth. It used to inhabit the lush river valleys, dense forests, and native grasslands of eastern Australia, finding comfort and satisfaction in its natural habitat. This beautiful parrot was relatively small, measuring between 27 and 30 inches in length. Its belly shined faintly with the color of emerald green or turquoise, while its upper wings displayed a brown tint with a striking blue undertone. However, since 1928, this majestic bird has escaped sight, leading the International Union for the Conservation of Nature to pronounce it extinct. Various factors contributed to the death of the paradise parrot, with predation, habitat loss, severe droughts, the felling of eucalyptus trees, and overgrazing by farm animals ranking high on the list. Many of these factors are from human activity. Today, the only traces of this magnificent species exist in books and videos. Much about its life remains a mystery, including its life expectancy and sexual maturity. Nonetheless, researchers Garnett and Crowley estimate that these birds may have lived for up to two years. Which of these photos of animals that went extinct did you find the most intriguing? Let us know your answers in the comments below.